Tac opening displacement model was proposed to determine the fracture toughness of elastic plastic material. Here del is crack opening displacement, del T is crack tip opening displacement. In this model, it was proposed that the plastic side, plastic zone is made up of several miniature sized tensile specimen and crack growth occurs by fracturing these specimens. If after the failure of first specimen, the specimen that is adjacent to the first specimen that is second specimen fails immediately, then it's an unstable crack growth. And based on this assumption, the final equation that was given in this model is strain energy release rate equal to yield strength multiplied by crack tip opening displacement. In order to find the derivation of this equation, you can refer mechanical metallurgy book by George Dieter. So the second model was given by James R. Rice to determine the fracture behavior of lower strength ductile materials. It's actually a more comprehensive approach. Here he considered the crack problem. He considered a 2D crack and he suggested that the line integral related to energy can be considered in the vicinity of a crack and by considering this line integral we can solve the problem of a two dimensional crack and here there is a presence of plastic zone so based on considering this line integral he proposed the equation of j j integral that is j equal to Here W is strain energy per unit volume DS is increment in the contour path. So if this is if we consider this section then here this DS is the increment in the contour path. T is the traction vector on this contour around the crack and U is the displacement vector. X and Y are the rectangular coordinates. So here it is the strain energy minus work done and that is potential energy. So basically we can determine J integral by taking the difference of potential energy between two specimens let's consider if this is the first specimen and this is the second specimen both the specimens are identically loaded the only variation is they have slightly different crack length if this is a dash this is a a dash is slightly more than a so here the potential energy difference between the two specimen is what is J integral dou U by dou A. It is for a unit thickness specimen and if you want to consider B, you can write it here. So we can write J equal to J integral that is obtained under elastic plastic condition. It is equal to dou U by dou A for a unit thickness specimen that is equal to strain energy release rate and that is equal to k square by e dash here e dash is equal to e for plane stress condition and e dash is equal to e divided by 1 minus nu square for plane strain condition The value of J integral is numerically equal to strain energy release rate. J integral which is obtained under elastic plastic condition. G which is obtained under elastic condition. So 
to determine the j integral value we can consider three point bent specimen or compact tension specimen and we can either do testing on multiple specimens or we can do testing on a single specimen but if we are doing testing on a single specimen then we have to carefully monitor the crack growth monitor crack growth and when a increases to a dash what is the potential energy difference between the two that is the j integral so we can determine the value of j integral for three point bent specimen we can write it as 2a by bb here a is the area b is the thickness of the specimen small b is the unbroken ligament and that is width minus crack length for ct specimen j integral will be equal to 2a by bb 1 plus alpha by alpha 1 plus alpha square alpha is 2a by b square plus 2 multiplied by 2a by b plus 2 to the power half minus 2a by b plus 1 now after calculating the j value we should ensure whether it fits the criteria of j integral so for that there is a condition for the crack ligament the unbroken ligament it should be more than 25 times j1c divided by sigma y for edge cracked specimen and if it's a center cracked specimen it this unbroken ligament should be more than 200 times j1c divided by yield strength if it follows this condition only then the value of j integral can be accepted if this condition is not followed then in that case the obtained j integral will not be accepted we should go for other testing to find the fracture toughness value